Welcome to User Renai, the channel where I explore all things UX and UI design. So today we're talking about canvas stacking, the order in which elements in auto layout overlap. And if you don't know what that looks like immediately, let's take a look. Right, so this is a quick example I created and it's basically a small reviews area that you might see on any website. And what we've got here is some text and then we've got our auto layout elements. And as you can see, they're stacked in a particular order in terms of the third item in the auto layout is opened up in the previous and the second is overlapped in the first. Now what we could do to change this, if we go down here and if we select first on top, we start to see that swap immediately. But you might be wondering, okay, that's really cool. Well, where would you place this in your design? So I've got, I'm gonna copy this and I've got this area right here. Here's a component or a screen I designed on a previous episode. And if I place that in here, it's just at the bottom there. And what I'll do is that I'll get rid of this area. And we can immediately see this bit fits in almost as well. Just size that down a little bit. Gonna rename that reviews. We're gonna change the color of this to match this blue right here. And we're gonna take down the font size. And I'm gonna rename that C what good others say. And I'm also gonna Duplicate that, change that to read more, small little chevron, in fact I'm going to get rid of that, I'm not a big fan of the chevron, I'm going to scale down both font sizes, I'm going to take that just to about here, then what I'm going to do is group this and I'm gonna take the parent auto layout, double click that, and that takes us to a space between layout. I'm also gonna click down here, and I'm gonna change that to an underline. What I'm also gonna do is, then auto layout, change the, and I wanna left align that. And I'm going to make this just a little smaller and make this a little bigger. So it's not perfect. Wait a minute, let's make that an auto layout again and I'll bring that further up just so they're a bit related. And if I zoom out, to be honest, we can actually just get rid of that entirely. And what I'll do is I'll take that back and I'm going to scale that back up. Well, I don't need that one, so I'll take rid of, rid of that. And I'll also use hug layout here and I'll leave it at 20. And I'll actually just leave that at the bottom there. So we've gone full circle, we're right back to where we started, but that's exactly how I'll include it on this one. And as you can probably see, it's changed here as well. So I'll just set that to last on the top. And that's the tip I've got for you today. So let me know if you use this in your designs and I'll catch you on the next episode.